everyone. How are you doing? The United Kingdom is heading to polls in a historic general election that is widely speculated to bring the main opposition Labour Party back to power after 14 years. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's Conservative Party is expected to suffer its worst ever defeat. With Labour Party leading in the polls and the far-right Reform Party chipping away at Conservative support, the stakes couldn't be higher for the July 4th election. Here's a look at the key contenders. Over the next few weeks, I will fight for every vote. I will earn your trust and I will prove to you that only a Conservative government led by me will not put our hard-earned economic stability at risk, can restore pride and confidence in our country and with a clear plan and bold action will deliver a secure future for you, your family and our United Kingdom. Rishi Sunak's gamble of calling for snap polls is likely to backfire. Opinion polls have given him some of the lowest approval ratings of any Prime Minister ever. It's the first time that the 44-year-old is seeking his own mandate from the British public. In 2022, he succeeded Liz Truss as the Conservative leader and Prime Minister. But Sunak, who is UK's first British Asian and Hindu Prime Minister, failed to meet many key promises, including cutting wealth waiting lists, stopping irregular immigration and sending migrants to Rwanda. Labour leader Keir Starmer is widely expected to be UK's next Prime Minister. The 61-year-old former human rights lawyer and chief public prosecutor is credited with moving his party back to the centre ground and rooting out anti-Semitism since succeeding left-winger Jeremy Corbyn as leader in 2020. Starmer's supporters see him as a pragmatic and cautious leader who is best suited to managing UK's economic decline. For a Labour majority at the next general election. But his critics accuse him of being an uninspiring flip-flopper who has failed to spell out a clear vision for the country during his campaign. Of the change we need for our country. A changed... ...the protest five years ago. We want to be a party of power. 60-year-old Nigel Farage heads the hard-right Reform UK party and is one of the most divisive figures in UK politics. Former US President Donald Trump nicknamed Farage Mr. Brexit after he helped persuade a majority to vote and leave the European Union in 2016. But the seven-time MP has had a fair share of controversies. Several reform activists were filmed making racist and homophobic remarks. Farage himself faced criticism for saying that the West provoked Russia into invading Ukraine. Nonetheless, polls indicate that Reform UK Party could deprive the Conservatives of several key seats. But the inflection point means that actually, if you vote Conservative in the Red Wall, you will almost certainly get Labour. A Conservative vote in the Red Wall is now a wasted vote. We are the challengers to Labour. We are now the real opposition. 60-year-old John Sweeney's candidacy is a bold Scotland. bid for the top job. Sweeney is Scotland's first, first Prime Minister and leader of the Scottish National Party. In our own right. SNP is struggling to fend off a Labour resurgence in Scotland, which is a big threat to their hopes of independence. SNP is unlikely to win the UK election, but Sweeney could have a say in who does. A legal guarantee. The Liberal Democratic leader Ed Davey is one of the most unique players in the race. The 58-year-old went to great lengths as he asked voters to take a leap of faith this election. He bungee jumped to grab their attention and hopefully their votes. Davey has been hoping his party can stop a Conservative victory by winning several key seats in southern England as it eyes overtaking the SNP to regain its position as the third largest party in Parliament. Carla Denier and Adrian Ramsey are the founders of the Green Party. Denier describes herself as bisexual or pansexual and is one of Bristol's most influential LGBTQ plus people. Ramsey helped the Green Councillor group grow to become the largest in England. The Fringe outfit is hoping to increase its representation from one to four MPs this election.